Hello, hello, hello everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today we are going to look at what the markets are doing being November 2nd, 24 hours away to the uh, elections, um, which I don't know if the results will be coming in tomorrow night, but uh, we'll see how the markets respond and what they're lining up for. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, I don't think there's much difference between what I posted last night and tonight. Uh, you can see here there is a long for potential Russell 2000, which makes sense because if the markets come off, uh, will that kill off the Russell? But there's not a lot of U.S. dollar markets here. We got U.S. dollar Hungary long and a lot of more shorts still. British pound against the Australian dollar. Those are pretty strong currencies. Um, and uh, we have another one here about the British pound, the Canadian dollar. Something going on with the uh, British pound. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It could be the Brexit negotiations. But you can see most of the shorts are still out there. Um, and uh, you would think that there would be a top pick for the um, markets, New Zealand and Switzerland. Uh, the franc there in dollar in the franc. So these are definitely safe haven plays. Just here, So here, here's the silver. A couple of silver with uh, shorts on them. See how they've gone flat for the last few days? You know, they're going on about how silver has gone up. That was back in the summer, which it did, but it's gone flat now. Which is virtually going nowhere. Last few days it's gone up, but overall it's gone flat. So, so many shorts here. Sugar is looking pretty good. Um, if I was the, a bet man, I mean, you got this big bar here on sugar. That's a good one. So now we're getting the very good. So now I'm going to get the mixed report of the US 2000, the Russell. I mean, I'm just kind of astounded that the treasuries are shortened as well. Uh, the USD CHF, so that's a defense play. Um, definitely, there might be some potential with the Chinese one, USD and Chinese one. But definitely, people are liking this Hungary thing. So, uh, do take note, that's a strong, strong long. Um, so, I don't know why Hungary, but uh, it's there. So again, this is data from Awanda using CFDs and Forex, using harmonics. So we have here now another defense play, uh, British pound against in the Swiss franc. Not seeing a lot of Japanese yen. Asia is looking very weak. Very strong shorts as well, some of them. Uh, here comes the UK 100, not looking good at all. Uh, and same with the overall uh, tenure of these shorts. Here's a long, but uh, I don't know. So I've already said, so the Euro, Swiss franc. So the Swiss franc looks like the place to be right now. Um, and uh, I do believe the Euro GBP was another one. Well, very, not very convincing. Even Norway's struggling. I think that's the, the oil price. It's just in a free fall right now. Uh, just looking for anything else outside of currencies. These are all shorts. So there, there is some opportunity out there. Not a lot. But um, I would definitely, definitely. So we have some Canadian Singapore dollar with some nice big bars. But again, it's all just nothing but flat. So Germany's not looking good at all. Um, France. But sugar, sugar's looking good. Um, I don't think it'll be a strong recovery, but it looks pretty, pretty steady there. That's pretty well it. Hopefully I'll help you out, and uh, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.